Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Audacity 3 onto your Windows 10 computer. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we're going to go to this website which is audacityteam.org. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description and you can see it's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Now this button, when we click it, this, the website has already detected uh, the operating system I'm using. So when we click download Audacity, it will start to download the Windows version automatically. Now you can click on these other options here to download the Windows, the Mac, the Linux versions here. But when you click that blue button before, it should detect what operating system you're using and then help you to download the relevant correct version. So let's go ahead and drag and drop, drop this to one side and let's open up this folder on my desktop and we'll drag and drop this into this folder and we can close down the web browser. Norton's already scanned the software so it's good to install and we'll update and open up um, this application. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the options here. You can select a different language if you want a different language from here. We'll click OK, we'll click Next, Next and we're gonna install it in program files on my C drive which is running the SSD so it'll run up and boot up nice and fast and it says um, which uh, already exists would you like to install to that folder anyway so I've already got a version of um, Audacity on my machine so I'm just going to go ahead and click yes and then create desktop shortcut we don't want that and I'm just going to reset all the preferences or so anything that was in the old version of Audacity will get reset and we just click next install okay so we're done we can click next and then we'll turn this off and click finish we just click here and we should see audacity in here so here we can see audacity i'm just going to drag and drop this onto the tiles here normally i don't pin this to my uh, taskbar down here we could pin it we can right click and then we can go to more and pin to taskbar you can have audacity running here maybe drag it with uh, all of your sort of uh, video editing applications. Let's go ahead and load it and see if everything's working. It says reset preferences. This is a one-time question after install where you are asked if uh, you are asked to have your preferences reset. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So it just resets everything. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. But I just like to reset everything. And now we can see Audacity here, and we can now edit audio content. This is free open you know, source software, so we can go ahead if you want to create a podcast or if you're recording some audio, you can record directly into Audacity as well, just like um, you know any other sort of audio editing application. So it's quite a powerful um, application. You've got your different microphone sources here, and we've got our audio uh, output here as well. So I'm gonna make a little video tutorial, a separate one, explaining how to combine two different MP3 files. So let's say if you're doing um, a dance music um, sort of exercise, uh, event and you want to have maybe three or four or five music tracks together so you don't have to keep you know skipping between music tracks on your on your phone or your different devices or if you create a podcast normally when you create podcasts you might create lots of short um, audio files and you want to join them all together and I'll show you how to do that in Audacity in the next tutorial okay so that's the software installed if you'd like to join me in the next tutorial I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description where I'll show you how to join multiple audio tracks into a single audio track and export that directly from Audacity. That's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials on a wide range of software subjects. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.